if you would categorize yourself as a maker, an entrepreneur, a designer, or an engineer, just stick up your hand. As I suspected. And for all of you that are here today, we have to imagine that you're designing products and that there is a, another group of people in the room somewhere that are manufacturing these things. Together, it's a very vibrant community. How is this possible with rising material costs, uh, the rising price of oil, uh, cheap labor competition, and, and yet, everywhere you look around here in the communities across the United States, there is this vibrant community doing these things. We can at least identify a number of factors that have come together. There's this confluence of factors that affects companies and individuals at both ends of that spectrum. And at both ends of that spectrum, those confluence of factors are actually largely similar. We can say, and I'll make this as brief as possible, you know, affordable 3D printing. Uh, at one end, you've got you know, the sub-thousand dollar machines. You can go on uh, Kickstarter and see them all day long. At the uh, engineering end of the scale, you know, altering some strategists and 3D systems, not in the $500 range, but in the $500,000 range. Um, and for the first time, makers have been able to realize on their desktop physical items that they can then uh, progress further with the designs. And when they run out of their manufacturing uh, capacity and capability, this on-demand manufacturing, Zeissi, Proto Labs, MFG quote, uh, that lets you get to the, you know, one to a hundred, and when you get beyond that, there are the web-based communities, the Indiegogos, the Kickstarters, and um, uh, what else, uh, MFD quote, uh, so that you can reach scales that let you get into production. And all of this is enabled by that wonderful platform, you know, cloud, web, mobile. Just quickly jumping over to the other side of the, the page, we have more or less the same situation where you're supplying that demand of on-demand manufacturing. We do this with standardized file formats, the internet, Dropbox, uh, FTP servers, and uh, uh, we agree on uh, a set of electronic standards that we can go ahead and manufacture. And on the back of that cloud-fed mobile and those standards, we can provide global manufacturing capabilities. Two quick examples, both local to Cambridge, Massachusetts. That's where uh, I work. Uh, one end of the spectrum, three guys. Uh, one in Boston, one in Montreal, one in London. I don't know where the dog lives, but it's a, a very ad hoc group of people who came up with a design, put it on Kickstarter, reached a critical mass. They were able to put in place, um, uh, invest in tooling, build a supply chain, and go to market with a bunch of orders ready to go. That's a one end of the spectrum slide. The other end of the spectrum, a well-studied case um, of Boeing that manufactures across a global network of suppliers, 100 some different uh, countries, many not listed there. All right, so the world is healthy, the world is doing great. So what's the problem? In a nutshell, Accessibility to professional grade 3D tools. Who they use is Google SketchUp, OpenSCAD, FreeCAD, uh, Tinkercad, sorry Sarah, right? Those are, are those pro grade tools. No, they're not. Um, are they able to leverage the cloud web mobile platform? Who brought their Windows workstation with them? Everyone has an iPad, an iPhone, an Android, and so on. And we need to stop accepting the definition of collaborate as a record of the conversations that we would like to have about doing work. We need to stop that. We need to start thinking about actually doing the work together instead of talking about it. And there's a general perception that the cloud is not secure, that somehow my intellectual property is going to magically materialize on someone else's desktop. And for that reason, companies tend to stay a little closer to home. We are on shape. We are a venture capital-backed startup. And we are looking at all these problems. Uh, we are a group of people. Uh, many of our founders were some, like some of the original founders of uh, SolidWorks Corporation. Uh, and it, we're starting with a clean to slate design to work on some of these problems. And we're looking for people, such as you, that are looking to tackle real world design problems. Uh, we have a web page set up for you. You can go to onshape.com slash DFM Summit. You can actually uh, type in a project that you're interested in exploring using some of the tools we're developing, and that will go into a pile of consideration. We'll have a quick phone interview with you, uh, make sure that uh, it's a bona fide activity, and we would love to have you start trying out some of our solutions tomorrow.